Hey, I'm uh, Greg Beharial. I'm uh, the uh, manager at Searchmount uh, Resort here in the rental shop and the tech shop. And uh, I'm here with Christian LeMay today from Shaw TV. Just letting you know that we have all your uh, tuning services for your skis, snowboards, possibly even your snow skates um, available here at Searchmount anytime uh, you need. We're here uh, as long as the lights are on. The tech shop's usually available. Um, so please come and see us if uh, you have any uh, uh, ski or snowboard needs. So uh, I'm just going to give you a little uh, quick uh, um, lesson on uh, what we do here, just uh, as far as like cleaning up and waxing a snowboard, just some general maintenance. Uh, probably a lot of people neglect their gear, neglect to bring it in. Most people, because all they want to do is get out on the hill and they ride their gear until it's pretty beat. So uh, first of all, all you want to do is just clean it up a little bit. Um, a citrus cleaner works just fine, but we have some, uh, some other products for stripping wax, stripping dirt out of the base. And then what you want to do is just take a wheel or you can use a Brillo pad or anything just to clean up your stuff. Um, everybody usually has something like this at home. You can raid mom's under the sink uh, in the kitchen. Uh, to get a little scrubber pad works just fine. You can get a brass wheel or something like this. It'll help you clean it up. This helps get the dirt and the grime and opens your board up. So uh, the next thing you want to do is to inspect your board for any base damage or little gouges, uh, stuff like that. And if, uh, if it's necessary, you take a machine like this and you can pass it over a belt. Simple as that. Um, you could use a small sanding block with a really light sandpaper, fine grit. Um, you'd probably prefer to start with some fine grit and uh, maybe go to heavier if it's necessary. Um, it's always, you can't put base material back on a set of skis or a snowboard, so you just want to be careful when you're doing it for the first time. So I'm just doing a quick little file of my base edge. Um, this is like a, just a standard file with a couple pieces of tape on it. Just gives it a little bit of beveled edge. There are some uh, uh, professional tools uh, that you can use to do this. This is just the way I've been doing it for a long time. It works for me. And uh, pretty much anybody can do this. So just, uh, just take your time and you'll feel the edge. You'll feel when you're catching it. And it's just going to help sharpen, uh, sharpen your board. Some people choose to detune their stuff because they ride in the park, they ride rails, they ride in the street. Same with skis these days. So we're gonna drip some, uh, an amount of wax on here. It's kind of by feel. A couple little strips up and down a snowboard just like that are fine. On a set of skis, I usually just do one bead right down the middle. And then you're gonna wanna take your hot iron and you're gonna wanna just nice and slow. You want the base material to heat up. You want it to soak up that wax. So what you're doing is you're filling the pores of the base material. There's a lot more science, I think, between wax and what happens between a snowboard and the snow than most people would think. And the snow conditions vary, temperatures vary. Sometimes you just need to run a different wax if things aren't running smooth. So uh, now we've got the snowboard wax, it's back up to temperature. I'm just gonna scrape the, the excess wax off now that it's done its thing. You can use saw horses, a couple chairs. Uh, this makes a real mess. Uh, you might want to do it in your garage or in your basement or somewhere where you can clean it up real easy. But once you get up onto the flat part of the board, it's as easy as just peeling it off. You don't realize how hard it is to do until you do this all day. And just take your time. After you get all the wax scraped off your snowboard, you need to uh, brush it or uh, somehow just clean the rest of the debris wax. Now, if you don't have a set of brushes, again, uh, everybody usually has like a Brillo pad or whatever. This is, is aggressive enough to <laughs> make, uh, make some grooves in the wax. You can see it cleaning up there already. Um, when you have a set of uh, roto brushes, which are specifically for uh, buffing out skis, this is what makes it really easy. Uh, so as you can see, uh, for a 15-year-old snowboard, um, it's looking pretty good. It's a little dirty, obviously. I haven't taken. There's been times in the past where I haven't taken care of it, but uh, that's what a clean, freshly waxed uh, snowboard or a set of skis should look like. Uh, fast. Okay. So the last thing I'm going to do to tune this board up and get it ready to go out on the hill is just uh, I'm going to tune the side edge. As I mentioned before, they sell a couple tools that are made for doing this. 
uh, some hand tools uh, with different types of files, different degrees of bevel. Uh, this is going to have a two degree bevel on it. I've already done uh, the base edge with, the, with the hand filing it and I'm going to run it on this machine here real quick. So um, that's a little just overview of what it takes to uh, get your skis and your snowboards uh, cleaned up and tuned up for a good season and uh, to be shredding fast on the hill. Uh, if you have any questions or you need any work done, come and see us in uh, the Searchmont uh, Tech Shop. We'll be here to help you out.